Good morning from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, where flight controllers are monitoring the approach of the Dragon spacecraft. This is SpaceX's 18th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. And this morning, you've joined coverage to watch it arrive at the space station. You're looking at a live view of Dragon as it orbits the Earth, now about 108 meters away from the space station. This Dragon flew previously on CRS-6 and CRS-13, that's commercial resupply, and when it gets closer, you'll notice that it has some, uh, it has some uh, markings to denote those previous missions. This is a view uh, of Dragon from the Canada Arm 2, which is the robotic arm that will be used later this morning to capture the Dragon once it arrives about 10 meters away from the space station. Dragon is just under 60 meters away, and the next stop will be that 30 meter hold point where teams will continue the uh, checkouts of the systems on Dragon before it moves into that 10 to 12 meter range. Another view inside the workstation as the space station flies over Mongolia and is coming up on that 30 meter hold point just a few meters away and also a few minutes away from crossing the uh, crossing the line between day and night aboard the International Space Station, which moves so fast that it travels around the Earth every 90 minutes. Dragon is now at that 30 meter hold point. And rotating into position on that screen in the Cupola's uh, robotics workstation, you can see Dragon there, as well as at the bottom of your screen, there's the Canada Arm 2 maneuvering to that high hover position. Dragon is now departing the 30 meter hold point. Approach from 30 meters, monitor first step five and one decimal one zero two. Copy and work. This ascension from the hold point at 30 meters to the capture point of 10 to 12 meters takes about 15 minutes. Dragon now only 20 meters away from the space station, so only about 10 meters to go until it reaches that capture point, moving slowly and deliberately. You can see Dragon getting closer, and this is a view down the Canada Arm 2. You can see that grapple fixture in the middle of the spacecraft. That's what NASA astronaut Nick Haig will be aiming for as he drives in the Canada Arm 2 to grasp or grapple it and uh, attach it to the robotic arm. Station Houston Space to Ground 2, confirm capture point hold per step 6 in 1.102. You can see Dragon beginning to look brighter 
as the space station is uh, heading over towards the south of South Africa. Team still conducting their go and no go polls here to make sure everything is fit and ready for Dragon to be captured by the Cannon Arm 2, which you can see at the bottom of your screen. Cannon Arm 2 is now in motion. As we gain video back, you'll see it start to slowly move in toward that capture point on SpaceX's Dragon. The arm nine meters away. One meter from capture. Dragon is over the pin. And Dragon is captured. That's 8.11 a.m. Central Time over the coast of southern Chile.